called Kesukara. It is a glorious day in Throtia. Since that dark day, not yet six years ago, when the archaic system of clans nearly failed us, we have all but cleansed the land of all those who foolishly continue to ally themselves with the clans of Talum, Venida, Krieg, and Aria. Their guardian's reckless disregard let both the eyes of Playana fall into the hands of Maltheor long enough to trigger a shaking that caused the ugly deep to throw itself upon the shores of Throtia, sweeping away all the inhabitants of Beach Castle. Moreover, it caused the Hepian slopes to shake loose the dam of Balthan waters, sending a tidal wave of muddy water that buried most of the inhabitants of Kistamar. Kesukara, brave master of the Kistamar's agricultural guild called the Reapers, saw how close Throsha had come to its complete undoing. He called upon the Hexmaster Galivor to banish the clans forever, and for all Throshians to unite under a single ruler. When Galivor foolishly refused, Kesukara called for a vote of Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. We got it? Uh-huh. You're in? They put up a bigger fight this time, well, but we made it in. because Krello wasn't doing it. <laughs> That's why. I'm Goliath. I'm Kor. And I'm Krello. And this is, is Hexenter. Hexenter. There we go. Also, I would just like to thank all of our f concerned fans who wrote in. I have broke the invisibility curse that was on me last week. Look, we didn't want to bring it up. Yeah. No, it, it, was was a really little, it was a little awkward when, like, you know, I was trying to make friends. I went out to the, the club, as mm. we call it, which is, of course, a weapon that does one die six damage. Um, and <sighs> I went there to make some friends, and they said, we cannot make friends with that which we cannot see. Is this making sense to you? I mean, yeah, I and mean, it's, it's rough. It's rough going Great. to clubs. Yeah it's, yeah, it's rough. What I'm saying is I'm grateful for the outreach, and I'm okay now. I'm <laughs> fully visible, and when Kesukara's men come through that door, I will die with the rest of you. <laughs> Hopefully not. Yeah. <laughs> You've been working pretty hard You're to get You're right. To Hopefully I'll survive when the rest of you are killed. Yeah. I'll take Wait, it. Wait, what? Why? What's... Guys. I'm just saying our odds aren't great, okay? Hey, we've I been like doing you. better, better like and better. You. I liked you better when you were invisible. Aww. We got the key of Veneta last adventure. I mean, We did. We've seen. We got the key from Lady Veneta herself. Herself. She, Amazing. She gave it of her own volition. Mm -hmm. She gave it, and we got it. So Frankly, now, I'm starstruck. Yeah, so now we're moving on. We're going to the plane of Arya. Arya. The only one left. And uh, we've only got four keys. We'll have five keys, assuming we get the plane of Arya's key. But now here's what's pretty cool to me. We actually know a little bit about the afterlife from the, from the Arya clan mm -hmm. because they're the only clan that deals with their afterlife and, and talks about, you know, the religion surrounding their philosophies mm -hmm. and who they are. And so we actually, for the first time, have some idea of what to expect when our champions head on in there. Mm -hmm. Like, we know that Arya has domain over angels and demons because mm -hmm. they, they claimed Malthior last season. Mm -hmm. And we, we know that we're going to expect to see some sort of traditionally heavenly things. I don't know about you, but I'm thinking this one's going to be a cakewalk. Uh, you think it's going to be easy? I think in and out in five minutes max. I would bet 15 gold coins on it. Well, I mean, it would be a little odd if, like, Arya, who is good, wouldn't just be like, hey, you know what? This is for a good cause. Let's give you the key. I mean, can we talk about how it's a little embarrassing that we got Malfior's key before we got Arya's? I know, yeah. right? Yeah, but I mean, it doesn't do much, frankly. I mean, he was disgraced. When it he got lost. us into the plane of Krieg. What do you want? A miracle? It did, it did, but it, it did. But it's not to its full power because he walked away from the Hexen last time. He caused an awful lot of problems. That's the whole reason the Kesukarans are at odds with us. Wow, because we are using a lot succeeded. of euphemisms. He literally tried to destroy the world, but yeah, yeah walked away. <laughs> yeah, you turned know, his back. Just sort of meandered off. The cold off. shoulder. I mean, will. last time I fired someone from my organization, he also destroyed the world, but that's a tale for another time. Well, but keep in mind, Corello, too, he was chosen of Fliana. Malthior, along with the rest of the, yeah. the Guardians, were he all He was chosen. one of them. Guys, I've been meaning to tell you this. I've been chosen of Fliana, too. <laughs> 
Crello. And he laughs as immediately. What? That's I what? got I got ten seconds. Uh. We've we've gabbled on about our own personal excitements and plans for the planet of Aria. Let's talk about what you really came here for. Mm. The, champion. the champion. The champions. You know what? Let's get straight into it. Let's yeah. go to the first champion. Let's talk about Talum. Boom. All right, this is Layla Fairchild. She's an elf, she's a ranger. She was raised in the wilderness by her father, but her father died fighting Kesakara. Thank you very much, Krello. Uh, fighting <laughs> for, now she fights for Talum. Marie Kaliagni took her and finished her training as a fighter, and so she is known to be a firecracker. She is impulsive, and she's a fighter. Can I tell you what's pretty interesting about Layla from a uh, mechanical standpoint? Yeah, let's switch over. Yeah, so, let's get over to the stats. Okay, let me grab my little pen thing. What you got? What you got? So here's the thing. She is a pretty classical ranger build of having both uh, range weapon and melee weapons because rangers famously are pretty good in both situations. Mm -hmm. um, but there's a fascinating little problem they have is a lot of their damage output is dependent on... Uh, this handsome little guy. Wow, that's a <laughs> big line! <laughs> anyway, that's <laughs> what that enormous blob of red is circling is Hunter's Mark. I'm scared to touch the screen now, but uh, <laughs> the point is Hunter's Mark is a spell that rangers are pretty dependent on to get their damage to keep up with other classes, especially rogues. <laughs> <clears throat> and the thing is, it's a concentration spell. Mm. And so she can go ahead and deliver her, her attacks from her bow, right? And then Hunter's Mark requires her bonus action to cast and then to move when she kills a target, um, which although you may have noticed in, in the planes, we've been seeing a lot of low target environments where we've had a lot of one, two target fights. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out in the plane of Arya. Well, and it would be interesting to see if that's going to be her uh, way of going about things because Little do we know that this is the only person who has any healing at all. Any at all in the party. <laughs> is the and ranger. If your ranger is your healer, you don't have a healer. <laughs> yeah. So she only has cure wounds. She only has cure wounds only so many times. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Hunter's Mark, this is why it's crazy, though. I didn't get to the crazy part. <laughs> it wasn't just the line on the screen where it was crazy. It's when she closes into melee, she's going to take a lot of hits. And every time she takes a hit, she has to pass a concentration check or her damage drops. See, that sounds like a terrible idea. It's a, it's a tough world for rangers. Why would you... Why why would you want that and not want to heal people? Why wouldn't you just be a fighter who takes a skill in nature? Boom! Ranger burn! All right, next up! <laughs> let's see it! Clan Aria. So in Clan Aria, we have Zena Fundval, a, a human monk. She went to the same school as Sir Nock, grew up with him. Uh, when they were growing up together, Sir Nock actually dared to call her a coward, and she beat him into submission. After which, <laughs> her parents, frankly a little bit worried about her violent nature, took her out of said school and rose her, raised her as a monk in a temple to challenge, channel some of her more aggressive energies. Uh, since then, they've developed uh, from rivals into close friends, and when Sir Nock needed a champion, she was one of the first people he thought of. Beautiful. Let's. So can we talk about how, even though monks don't have a lick of magic in them, she is legit hovering? <laughs> that's, that's super concentrated, We, we right? have to assume that she got a little assistance from the party wizard, who we'll talk about later. So I was actually just talking to uh, Zena earlier, and she has a fascinating strategy put in mind. Mm. Because in Enter the Hex, you may have noticed uh, that we do flat damage numbers here. And so uh, we also do some rolls as flat. And so <laughs> she has the uh, uh, deflect missiles deflect ability, missiles. <laughs> which lets her deflect, I believe it's 14. I should have pulled it up on here. It lets her deflect 14 damage of missile, just reliably. Mm. And so when a missile comes in, and this is something that was just pointed out to us by one of our noble Throshian citizens. Raise your hand, hero. That hey! guy. Yeah. That guy pointed out that there is a rule in Dungeons and Dragons that if you have multiple ways to calculate your AC, you can choose which one you use. Every character has the option to take their base AC, which is um, their, oh no, I'm gonna screw it up. It's, it's 10 plus their dex modifier. 
Um, and so with the monk not wearing armor, she can always choose to take that, which is 14. And so um, she can take her monk defense, which puts her at a 17, which is impressive, or she can just choose to calculate her AC as a 14. Meaning, if a missile comes in and she knows it's going to do 14 or less damage, she can t choose to use her lower AC calculation and guarantee that she will catch the missile. That is a really cool way to abuse our flat damage system. Mm. Well mm. done, Zena. <laughs> I frankly, my eyes glazed over, and you could have talk, been talking about anything, and Wait, I was just. What were we talking about? We were talking about AC calculations. Let me go on. Where no, am I? The spell. <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> uh, let's let's go. Let's uh, let's see. Um, uh, uh, Clan Krieg. <laughs> yes. All right. Our champion's name is Moose. She is a tiefling, and she is a warlock. Her patron is the fiend named Jeb. That's pretty Jeb. short. But yeah, it it's pretty Jeb. short. It's a nickname because mm -hmm. his name is too long and probably too hard for me to pronounce. Your ears would start to bleed should yeah. you hear it. Uh, only, she only signed a contract because she assumed that Jeb was her father? And so... She is she a tiefling. Was, yeah, she is a tiefling, so, you know, that could have happened. Um, yeah, she l likes manipulation um, until fire is needed, and then boom, fire. Fire. So we will see. Do you want to have any stats? That I am so I glad actually, you brought up fire. Yeah, go ahead. I actually heard a story that when uh, Haldora was going to choose Moose, mm. uh, she saw Moose just actively on fire and not taking damage because she's fire resistant. Okay. And was so impressed, she gave her the spot right on the back. Oh, she just immediately like let her into Krieg? Yeah, you can be on fire without being hurt. You're on. You're in Krieg. Okay. So, our dear citizens of Throsha, we're going to do a little bit of uh, Enter the Hex trivia to learn a little bit about the build of Moose. First of all, I know some of you are really experts at the rule set that we use here, and you might notice a couple weird things on Moose's character sheet. <gasps> Um, warlocks are unique in that they are the only class that refreshes their spells after a short rest, which in a normal Dungeons and Dragons session would mean that they would refresh their spells probably three or four times. Yeah. However, here's your first trivia question. How many rests have our heroes taken in season two? Zero! Zero. <laughs> which means warlocks get hosed. <laughs> Okay, True. there's another ability that tieflings rely on uh, somewhat, quite a bit, actually, mm, uh, mm. called Hellish Rebuke, mm -hmm. which is when the tiefling gets attacked, they uh, give damage back to the attacker. I don't remember the flat amount on here, but it's, it's a respectable amount. Um, and that refreshes on a rest. And as a review, how many rests have our heroes ever taken? Zero. 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 There's no time to rest on the quest to defeat Kazukara. And so... We have actually done something somewhat unprecedented here on the Hex. We have modified how Warlocks work. That's right. It's a minor change, but we bumped her up from two spell slots to... Look at this number of circles I'm circling. <laughs> how many circles is that, Throshans? Three. We gave her an extra spell slot. We also are going to let her use um, the Hellish Rebuke ability once per night, which mm -hmm. let her use it twice this weekend. And will that make her an equal to a wizard? No! no. <laughs> but it'll help her be less bad in comparison to the wizard, so... So, speaking of wizards, we need to talk about our Clan Veneta <laughs> yes, champion. Let's, yes, let's go over to him. All right, so uh, this guy is named Eamon Ramus. And... <laughs> Oh my goodness, I haven't seen that picture. Uh, and his deal is he is super scared of everything. He grew up in his parents' basement, and he read a lot of fantasy stories without a whole lot of nuance to their plot lines. And so it was like big, good epics and, and, and evil, dark, dastardly foes. Then he went out into the world, saw Shades of Grey, and was like, oh no, I don't know how to process this. He also self-taught himself magic, which is just so impressive, I can't even handle it. Mm. Um, and so, yeah, it's, uh, he's, he's, he's a scaredy cat. He's, now, a, he's a coward. I'm kind of scared and a scared cat for him because his, his total hit points is only 22. Yeah. He has 22 hit points. His armor class is 13. So as uh, a wizard, he's pretty squishy. 
right? But the good news is, we've already seen the plane of Veneta, so we know where he's going after he dies. <laughs> this is true, <laughs> and he'll be just fine he'll after fine. he dies in Veneta. An interesting uh, bit of uh, trivia with him, his unarmed strike has plus two to hit and zero damage, <laughs> meaning that even if he were to successfully connect with the target, he is unable. On a critical, he would do two times his base damage, which is... Zero! That's like, right. Uh, interesting fact about that, it would also be non-lethal damage. So non-lethal damage. Zero non-lethal, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we actually have uh, Eamon. I keep forgetting his name. Good heavens. I'm the worst summoner in the world. We know. A we, yeah. yeah. Oh, sick burn! <laughs> um, so the deal with Eamon is he's also an evoker, just like uh, Spill Sprocket, the gnome, oh, a couple winning. weeks mm -hmm. ago. Yeah, winning. Yeah. Uh, and so we've got another evoker in play, but it's interesting that his sort of capital ship spell is he's got fireball, of course, because if you don't have fireball, you're not really a wizard. And then he's got counter spell, which I think is going to be a Ooh. delightful thing to watch on a self-proclaimed coward. Yeah. Counter spell, of course, lets you watch an enemy cast a spell and then say, nope, or a friend. He could also do it to the warlock. I was going to say, is that, is that anybody? Like, so if, like, the, is it only when they're at getting attacked, or is that with, like, anything? So, no, he sees a spell happening, and then he casts counter spell. And as a reaction. As a reaction, yeah, yes. Yeah. And then there, there is some calculations. It might not always work, but generally what's going to happen is it, he'll burn his spell slot, and then the enemy will also lose their spell slot, and the spell just won't happen. And oh. so it's, it's interesting that we've got a wizard here who has told us he's very scared, which is good because he's going to Arya, which we expect to be an easy plane to deal with. Yeah. Um, but then he's super scared, and if he does see a spell happening, he can just cancel it at expense of both him and the caster. I think it's going to be fun to watch. That's great. A little guy. Pretty, yeah. pretty good group. We got, we got a little wizard. We got a warlock. We got a, warlock. We got a monk. A monk. We got... A healing ranger. A ranger. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, and uh, we'd like to thank you all for your thousands of letters of concern. Uh, we have figured out how martial arts works, so we're good. <laughs> we shall. We, uh, we, sh we, we all spent 10,000 years of relative time in purgatory for our sins against Helmer, and we will not commit the same sins against Zena. Unless we do. Time will tell. Oh. Hey, hey, look who's here. Summoners, to your positions. Summoners. Call forth the citizens. Citizens, come forth! Citizens of Grosha, we know the road was perilous. We appreciate you joining our number here tonight. Thank you, summoners, for calling forth the citizens. Yeah. Please continue to call forth more and more to join our number. Call your friends! Mm. Tonight we have these four brave champions come to lend us their strength in this noble cause. Before we continue, Barkeep, I believe there are some points to award, or I should say a medal to award, 
Indeed, there is. So today, we award the Medal of Ferocia. So we get to award this to none other than Hildora of Can Creek. Champions, it is at this time that we are preparing to send you to the Plain of Aria. Now, of the different planes to which we have sent our champions, this is the one that we know more about as Clan Aria is studious about the afterlife and its nature. We know that Aria resides on a tall mountain top, and it is your quest to seek her out and to plead our case to have her return her blessing and her key to the Hexant. But before okay. we send you out, champion, er, champions, we need our guardians to give you the die of your clan. Beginning with Clan Veneta, please present your champion with the die. But of course, step forward, my son. It's a big scary world out there, but yeah. you got your spell book? Oh uh, yeah, I got it right here. All right, keep it close. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's do some damage. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, uh, there you go, there you go. Yeah. Clan Talon, please present your champion with your die. Later. <laughs> oh, did your pa say anything about mountaintops? Oh, it was my dad always said, Layla, don't fall off the top. Yeah. Good advice. <laughs> Clan Aria, please present <laughs> your champion with the die. <laughs> I am so excited to see what you can do in the plane of Aria. It's so good to see you. It is good to see you too. We have sparred many times. No one knows better than I how much you can kick butt. <laughs> You'll do great. Clan Krieg, please present your dive. Born Krieg, raised Krieg, is Krieg! <laughs> Dangerous maneuver. That went well. <laughs> All right, champions, are you prepared? Wait, no. Okay, so as the self-appointed leader, I think we should do like a kind of like a buddy system thing going through the portal, just like for safety. All right. So you, uh, what? Yeah. So who are you guys, and uh, you're gonna be buddies? All right. We're, 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 I'm, I'm Layla. We're, 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 okay. All right. Here oh, we go. Uh, wait, okay. Don't hold his hand. I mean, well, just let him. It's all right. It's all right. Hey! <laughs> so, uh, we're, we're gonna be buddies, and we'll not hold hands. We're ready now. All right. <laughs> Barkeep, are the keys charged? They are fully charged, my friend. They are so mighty, I don't know if I can handle them. Are Whoa. we ready? Champions, may you fly safely on the wings of Sorios. Cool. Whoa. Barkeep, please unlock and open the channel. Well, I am. Unlocking and opening the channels. Brace yourself. <laughs> Who is that? You see that you're in a very, very thick wood. A variety of plants surrounds you on every side. Huh. And in the far distance, you can see an enormous mountain, the peak of which is concealed by clouds but its height is tremendous. Okay. Well, I think it's about time we climb to the top. Yeah. Good thing I wore high heels. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> let's do this. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's, let's Just start on. walking towards the mountain. Let's do that, yeah. Let's These start. boots were made for walking. <laughs> <laughs> let's okay. go. As soon as you begin to move and you feel these branches and plants just brushing gently on your arms, you see the first one that is disturbed a fine white mist begins to coalesce above it, and it takes on the form of a swarm of rats. Oh, what? Well, Wait. Was it? I don't do rats. No one said anything about rats. <laughs> the flower turned into a rat? The essence of the plant emerged and coalesced into the form of a rat. We will be okay. entering initiative order. Straight off the bat. Wait, what? Guardians, yeah. you will have 15 seconds right. with which to counsel your champions, beginning with Clan Talon. I mean, it's a swarm of rats, Layla. I feel like you can take them. Yeah, as my dad always said, don't let the rats stay where you are, because they're rats. Your dad seems like a fun guy. He was a great guy. Yeah. Clan Aria. 
<clears throat> a rat coming out of a plant is not a normal thing that happens, in my experience. Generally, no. Maybe I would avoid disturbing other plants. Good plan. Clan Benedict. So like, of the tens of thousands of things that can kill you? Yeah? I'm really surprised you're facing rats right now. Yeah, like, that's, it's funny that you mentioned that, because like, I don't like rats, like, ever. They're gross and nasty. Oh, so, just like, keep your distance, then. I like that, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Clan Krieg. I normally don't say this. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. you should stay towards back and blast them from distance. So light everything on fire. Got it. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Except for me, preferably, that, that would be ideal. Whoa! I mean, if we're gonna be buddies, maybe don't light me on fire. I did not even know you were there. <laughs> uh, hey. Clan Talon, this is your opportunity to act, followed by Clan Arya. All right, so, I mean, I'm pretty close, so I'm just gonna hop and skip to be a little closer, and then I'm gonna take out my rapier and my short sword and just start hacking away. All right, make an attack roll. All right, here we go. I swing with my right hand that holds the rapier. And that is a cocked 11 slash 13. We'll take it. Modify right. it. <laughs> <laughs> Plus seven. That will definitely Ooh. connect. Damage. Uh, that's eight damage. Eight damage to this swarm of spectral rats. All right. So now I'm going to oh. swing with my left hand. And as I am a ranger and I've already hit damage, I do get Colossus Slayer on this second attack. Woo! That's Woo! down. Good. But it is a three. So... Barkey. Gather for a friend a moment. Colossus Slayer is better known as Colossally Slay. A <laughs> ranger here, when she injures someone, can then smell their blood. And then she knows even better how to slay them. So anytime you hear Colossus Slayer, she's not slaying a Colossus. She is Colossally Slay. Now, back to you. Thank you, Barkey. <laughs> That's awesome. It's true. That's yeah. Modifier. <clears throat> it's, it's plus seven. For a total of 10, that will connect. Damage. Oh, right. uh, it's going to be another 8 damage, plus the Colossus Slayer, so plus 4, so 12. 12 damage. And because my dad told me to really not like rats, I'm going to swing again with my right hand. Ooh. All right, make an attack roll. And that is a 19. That Woo! will definitely connect. Damage for the offhand? Uh, that's going to be another 8 damage. Another 8 damage. Yeah. A pungent aroma of rat blood. Mm. How true You're not that there. is. And these spectral I'm, I'm rats to be there. explode in a wave of energy outward. Oh, and this yeah. wave that passes rustles some of the nearby plants. Oh. See, that's what I was afraid of. Mm. Mm. Oh. All right, well, I'm going to stop doing that, largely because my turn is over. <laughs> <laughs> Good plan. Fair enough. Moving yeah. on to Zena. So what am I looking at here? I will gladly inform you now that I am done making it happen. <laughs> <laughs> You see standing behind you the form of a large white lion. Mm -hmm. Above you, to the north, is... <laughs> sun assassin. Uh -huh. Oh! <laughs> and below you is an ogre. Well, I'm going to run up to this lion and I'm going to attack it. All right, make an attack roll, please. First, I'm going to make my fingers really pointy. <laughs> and I'm going to jab it in the eyeball with my left hand. That's a two. Oh. <laughs> Modifier. Seven. Seven. I'm afraid <laughs> that you do not successfully jab the lion in the eye. Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to attack it again then. Before you swing, I, I do let her know, um, if you can land a hit on him, then I can also get Colossus Slayer, Colossus Slay that bloke as well. <laughs> Things slayed colossally is much better than normally. Agreed. <laughs> well, I'm going to make my right hand even pointier Whoa. and point at his, poke at his right eye. Roll for pointiness. <laughs> That's a 17, All much right. pointier. Plus seven, seven. Yeah. Plus seven. that will definitely connect. Damage. Seven bludgeoning damage. Seven bludgeoning damage. And then I'm going to attack it again. This time I'm just gonna kick it right in the face. Whoa. That's a 16. Plus seven. That will connect. Damage. Seven bludgeoning. Seven additional bludgeoning damage as you poke it in the eye and kick it in the face. It is unhappy. I thought everything in your plane would be nice, Anok. Amen. She's, re she's really good at this. Okay. She hits hard. So I'm going to see the ogre that just appeared next to me, and I'm just going to go, ah! I'm going to cast Acid Splash on it, oh. um, which is a deck save. 
All right, a deck save with a DC of 15. 15. <laughs> the ogre rolls a three. Yeah. <laughs> damage. It'll take uh, six damage, and if there's anything next to it, it also takes damage. Six damage to the ogre. There is a lion fairly close to it, so I'll allow it. Six <laughs> damage to the lion as well. Yes. Six Whoa. damage to the lion. Nicely done. <laughs> <laughs> you That's right. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> and then I am going to run uh, far away. Uh huh. Past these plants, but I'm gonna like move past them so I don't touch them. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw <laughs> to try and move through. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run and just like tiptoe it right past it. Natural 20. Oh! 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 What is this doing? I'm going to sneak past those plants. Almost as if you can mold your body around the leaves <laughs> as you make your way through successfully. Well done. <laughs> Moving down in initiative, it is the lion's opportunity to act. It is going to take a slash at Clan Arya, who jabbed it in the eye and kicked it in the face. <laughs> As one does. It's <laughs> fair. A fair reaction. Yeah. It rolls a 10 to hit. That will miss. All right. That's it for the lion. Nice. <laughs> Moose. <gasps> okay. So I don't want to be anywhere near any of it. So I am going to run over. Oh, and then I see an ogre. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to. Try to try to seduce it. I think I got a chance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really good at charisma. I think I got this, guys. Yeah, uh, right. I'm gonna roll to uh, seduce. Par for the course. <laughs> roll performance, please. Here That's we go. That's one way to do it. <laughs> That's a natural one. <laughs> <laughs> Not your day. Oh, great. That's wonderful. Tough luck. Shouldn't have worn high heels today. <laughs> As you attempt to make a kissy face at the ogre, you accidentally spit in the projectiles into its eye, oh. angering it further. Oh, mm. that no damage? Uh, I'm afraid not. Ah, <laughs> thanks for oh, you coming yeah, yeah. back. You know. Anything else on your action? Oh, can I continue moving? Uh, yeah, I believe you only oh. used a very little of your movement. Absolutely. Then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> <laughs> or the keyboard's gonna put this arcane tablet. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh. Nope, it's it's uh there. I did it. Yay! <laughs> Yay! I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh yeah, you're right. See if I can be a smooth in seven modifier zero. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> the spectral form oh. of a most unusual and uncomely beast begins to appear out of this plant. No. Oh. 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 What's that? What's that? Do? Is that a chin? What is that? <laughs> it's all, yeah. Is it like? It is now the me? ogre's opportunity to act. Is that a? It is going to. I think it's a potato. That's a potato. No one said potato for you. Most a potato. The ogre is going to pursue potato. Moose, who spat in its eye, oh, in a failed before. attempt at romance. They have eyes. Yeah. I've seen thumbs with faces before. Oh, oh yeah. But not a thumbs. potato. Oh yeah. The ogre rolls a 19. Oh. <laughs> yep, that, that is six damage for Moose. Oh. <laughs> Ow. All right. At this point, it is the blobby creature's opportunity to act who just appeared. It's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> okay. You got this. It's a magic potato. Here we go. 19! Okay. Yeah. 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 You smart. feel a magical force exerting itself on you, trying to influence you to become charmed by this odd beast, and you force it out mentally. Ah, not my type! All right, <laughs> top of initiative order. Guardians, you will have 15 seconds, beginning with Clan Talon. Say, so, I'm normally like a, a kind of a plant gal, but I don't like these plants at all. Well, and I can keep hacking and slashing, but as this is the forest and it's my ideal terrain, I can sneak away super sneaky, but what about my friends? Oh, I wish I could have <laughs> I have no idea what to do about this potato. This, it's a spectral potato. That's the worst kind. The worst kind. A magic spectral potato. You better punch this lion and then go punch the potato. Okay. Yeah, you're good at that. Find Benedict. These monsters are just popping up like daisies. I know, I hate it. Okay, all right. It might be worth it to mage armor, all right? Just make yourself a little bit stronger. Make myself stronger? Yeah. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Okay. 
Bye! Bye! <laughs> Clan Krieg. Um... Uh, uh, hide yeah. under rat. Okay. Yeah, I could... Uh, okay. okay. Yeah, and then I'll just, like, shoot spells out from under it. Yes. Yeah. Cool. Good plan. It, but he's still chasing me. <laughs> Layla. All right, well, it would be befitting to run away, but I just, it's not in my nature to leave my comrades behind. So, Aww. creepy bird assassin man, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and I am going to hack away at him as well. So starting with my right hand. Make an attack roll. That is a 16. 16, modifier. Yeah. Seven. That will definitely connect to damage. Uh, that will be eight. Eight damage. And then I'm going to swing away with my short sword in my left hand, and as he's taken damage, I can smell his blood and know that he does not like to be hit on the elbow. So I'm going to aim for the elbow. <laughs> You're kind of scary. But that's a three. Modifier? Six. That will not connect. Uh, but that's okay, because I have one more, so I'm going to swing at the same elbow with my right hand. Roll for elbow. And that's a five. Seven. That will not connect. Are, Being are, an assassin is dexterous movement. Are you trying to, to tickle his elbow? It's, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I might try that next time. Thank you for the advice. That's, that's wise. All People right. don't like to be tickled. Zena. <laughs> well, I'm going to attack this line again. All right, roll to attack. The poking with my left hand really didn't work, so I'm going to uh-huh. punch it instead. Ooh, great. That's a ten. Modifier. Seven. That will connect. Damage. Nice. Seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning damage. The poking with my right hand, though, worked. <laughs> so we're going to do that. Nice. That's five. Plus seven. Plus seven. I'm afraid that will not connect. Well, fine. I'll attack it one more time. And I will kick it in the face again. That's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> 14 damage. That's correct. You have Ooh. found this lion's Achilles face and you kick it. <laughs> yeah! Oh, right. Good job. Anything else on your turn? No, that's it. <laughs> All right. Eamon. All right. So first what I want to do is I want to look at these plants really, really hard and see if I can figure out what's going on. All right. Please make me an investigation roll. Cool. So I'm going to like get really close to it, but I'm not going to touch it. That's an 11. Modifier. Plus seven. Plus seven. As a studied fellow, you can begin to see that there is a great variety in the types of plants. Some of them are more beautiful and comely. Some of them have a more putrid and dark quality and smells that would deter. But it appears to you that it is almost as if souls of creatures that have passed are emerging from these plants. Oh, that wasn't helpful. Um, I can't help souls. Well, all right, I'm gonna ask you to splash the potato. (laughs) All right, is that a dex save, I believe? Yes. 15. 15. The potato rolls an 11 and fails. (laughs) (laughs) Ah! Not not a dexterous magic potato, that's (laughs) Mm -hmm. good information. That is six damage? Correct. All right, and there is no creature adjacent to it that is unfriendly, so. That will do. Eamon, anything else on your turn? I'm just going to move a little bit further away and not hit plants. Like a little bit further that way? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Okay, cool. (laughs) All right. It's time for the lion, who's been kicked in the face far too many times, and he's just not going to take it anymore. (laughs) He will attack Clan (laughs) Arya. Rolling a 17. That will just hit. That will just connect. Six damage. Ow. That wasn't very nice. (laughs) Moose. Okay, so I got this this time. I am going to run into this plant with the dead carcass of the rat uh, to use for partial cover, like uh, like my, my girl got me. And then uh, I'm going to light the potato on fire with Eldritch Blast. All right. Make your ranged spell attack. Channel is open. You first or me? 
I'll go first because I might be wrong on this one. I don't know if the ogre had a five foot or ten foot reach, but Moose did just appear to leave his threat range. Uh, the ogre has a reach of five feet. Would that provoke an attack of opportunity? It sure would. It? Sorry, Moose. All See, I, it's right. a newer, friendlier Crello. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very friendly. <laughs> The ogre takes his swing as you leave his side. Oh, I blow him a kiss! Oh. That is a 21 to kiss. Oh! Yes. Oh, that seems like overkill. I think you should stop trying to kiss people. Five I damage to use from the ogre. <laughs> I, uh, and Galibor, uh, okay. my point of clarification before Moose, sorry, Moose, makes her attack. She mentioned Eldritch Blast. And our citizens had a question. What is this Eldritch Blast? We have a wizard here, Clan Venida. His magic derives from careful study of arcane energies. Whereas Moose, her energy derives from pacts with the infernal. So she has made friends with very powerful fiery forces. So she summons their energy and does their will. Now, back to Hex. Thank you, Barkeep. But of my own free will, I'm gonna light this potato on fire. <laughs> Make your range attack. Here we go. And we're going to kind of do a finger gun with a 19. For the Modifier. Party. Plus 7. Plus Damn. 7. That will definitely connect to damage. Nice. 9. <laughs> yeah. 9 damage to this unholy blobbish creature. Uh, and then I'm going to use my uh, left finger gun and ride on in the kither. 7. Modifier. Plus 7. Plus I'm afraid that will not connect. Ah. What do you think spectral baked potatoes taste like? Good. I think we're going to find out. For hey guys, yeah. I really would. I I would love some help over here if you have if you have time. <laughs> we're we'll, we'll working on it. Try to begin so. Be right the there. Ogre raises his arms to bring an attack to bear and moves towards Moose. Oh. A hooded figure appears. Oh. Hi. And looks around at all of you and says, well, you seem to be in a spot of trouble. Yeah. And he opens a small bag at his side and a swarm of tiny glowing creatures envelops each of these spectral beings and the spectral beings begin to go to sleep. Whoa. These tiny homunculi gently coax these creatures back into their plants. Wake them up. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Thank you. Who are, thank you so much. <laughs> like, who are you? I tend to the Garden of Souls. You may call me the nurseryman. <laughs> Hi. Mr. Nurseryman? Yeah. That's the pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. Thank you again. Yes, thank sir. you so much. We were doing... Thank you. <laughs> Hello, I'm uh, Eamon Ramis, sir. It's, it's a pleasure to meet you. Uh, thank you for uh, saving our lives there. Yes, indeed. I can see that you're all living. Thanks. Yes. Yeah. Thanks yeah. to you. Yeah. <laughs> For now, because that was still a little shaky there. Nice yeah. Scene. We're gonna head. We're trying to head up to the uh, to the mountain. Yeah. To talk to the Arya. As you say that, you can see his face grows a little bit sadder. Oh. He says, "Ah, you have a perilous road ahead." Oh. So it would seem. Yeah. We are yeah. off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely killed her out. Really good. Wanna fight? Well, do you have any wisdom or advice? Shortcut? Uh, yeah, advice is good. Healing Health potions. Healing potions would be great. Yeah. Well. yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid those that I tend to do not require much healing. I mean, fair. Kind of fair. Yeah, cool. They are already dead. It so. is at this point that you can see that he gestures to these small glowing beings, and they begin to gently lift plants out of the ground and place them further to the side, creating a path that is leading oh. away oh. from the mountain. Oh, 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 away, away from, the, from mountain. the mountain. Well, that's not as helpful. I'm sure you know that Arya resides atop the distant Divine Peak, but it is inaccessible by any regular means of travel. I'm afraid oh, the only path before you will lead you through the under. The, the what? Through the, through the under? Through the under. Yes, beyond the Garden of Souls lies the entrance to the under home to the suffering wicked. Oh. oh. They sound Our fun. Suffering wicked. Great. As he Sounds turns like to gesture in the direction of this path, mm -hmm. you can see that on his back, he has one large, beautiful wing 
protruding. Oh. But some of the feathers look as though they have been damaged and it has a bandage wrapped around it. Oh, Mr. Freeman, what happened? Uh, if it's not too personal to ask, what, uh, what's happened to your wing? Yeah. Ah. And he turns slightly more and you can see that where the other wing would protrude through his robe, there is only a small nub. Oh. I <laughs> Be nice. was Don't measured rush. and found wanting in my duties. Well, I think you did a great job. Yeah, you, you thank you. Us. I would agree. Yeah, thank you. I do not mind tending to the nursery now. It is a peaceful place, a restful place. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> restful. Were you an angel? Like, is that an angel wing? He smiles, but doesn't really say anything. I'm gonna take that as a yes. That's true. <laughs> I have so given oh. everything in service of play honor, and therefore I am worthy to guide you through agony's ingress and down into the under. But I can only oh. take you as far as the deepest ring, for I am forbidden really to enter the divine peak. Painful words. Yeah, like what was that one? Agony. Ag what? Agony and, and suffering Pain. and. Um, is there like a like a pillow yeah. fort trail or like a yeah. like a fluffy bunny trail or like we could do that instead? <laughs> I have missed having good conversation. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am afraid the path is perilous. Great. Well, is there before we set off? Is there anything we can do for you in favor of you helping us? We're on our oh, plate. Yeah. I feel that walking the path with those who smile and live would do my heart good. Oh, well, we're Aww. a funny crew, so you're in for a couple chuckles along the way. <laughs> <laughs> so as you begin to walk down this path. That looks good, it's natural. natural. <laughs> <laughs> he smiles and jokes with you casually, and he begins to explain the path that lays ahead. The under is composed of three rings, or levels of play on as punishment. The first, the Ring of the Wayward, is the eternal punishment for those who swore oaths to play honor but forsook their oaths for baser pursuits. The next, the Ring of the Vanquished, houses the demons and fiends that terrorized the mortal plane but were slain by the holy champions of Arya. Oh, all right. And lastly, the Ring of the Turned is reserved for those vile enough to betray the goddess herself Ooh. after having seen the holy light. All right. So, so we have to go through all three? Yeah. Is, is, is there any sort of shortcut that's, I mean, I don't even need pillow for it. I, like flat, plain. Like jump trail down the ring just, to the bottom. Just straight and narrow path. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid this is the shorter path. Oh, well, oh. thank you. Thank you for pointing out the great, shorter path. Great. Yeah, uh, okay. for not taking us the long way. Okay, so we can do this. Yeah. Guys, we got this. We're <laughs> champions. We can do this. All right. All yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Let's okay. do it. Okay. Let's go through the rings of stuff. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. All right. Hey. 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 Ha. All right, which way? I like it. All right, he leads you down the path, <laughs> and you arrive. Oh. And a large golden door. Promising. With six panels depicting different figures doing different things. As you lay your eyes on it, each of you sees yourself depicted in each of these six panels. Oh, performing a great feat of strength. Performing a great feat of agility. Oh. Do you guys see that? I'm wisdom. all over this door. Yeah, I look great. Hey, no. is, is that really what my hair looks like from the back? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm a, I'm Wait. A <laughs> I, look, it's, it's, it's all these things I've done, maybe? <laughs> I want to take this with me. Is this telling our fortune? Because I'm in. Yeah. I mean, there is me beating the crap out of Sir Nox, so that's, that's accurate. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How many of this. your champions put a, like, uh, whale on you from time to time, Nox? Well, listen, unlike Clan Krieg, uh, achievement in Aria is not always measured by martial strength. Boring. Uh, <laughs> I'm strong, yes, but Zena kicks my butt every time. I've, oh. I've, I've never won. When Good champion, then. Exactly, that's why I thought so. The nurseryman gestures to the door and says, we have arrived at Agony's Ingress. Crap. 
As I have already sacrificed everything for Playana, I am worthy to enter and may pass. Each of you will have to make a sacrifice. I shall await you on the other side. And he opens this golden door and passes in. And it closes oh, I don't know door. why there's a sacrifice. Wait, when you say sacrifice, is it like a payment? Is it like a payment plan? Or like, how does that work? Wait, wait. Oh. All right. Are there, uh, okay. So we gotta sacrifice something. Can, can, can we see what, what, the, uh, what the different panels, like what yeah. kind of things are we doing in those panels? Yes. So as you observe this panel more closely, again, you see yourself depicted in every picture. Again, in the first panel, you see yourself performing a great feat of strength. In the second, a feat of great agility. In the third, great intelligence. In the fourth, great wisdom. In the fifth, constitution. And in the last, winning the hearts of many with your charisma. Okay, so, so it just looks like we gotta do one of these things, right? Like, that, that'd be a sacrifice. Um, do no, we see I, no, I think I we think have to give up one of those things. One of those traits. Oh, we have yeah. to, we don't just do it, we have to not do it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how sacrifices work. Each of you hears a gentle voice in your mind that says, what do you offer Playana in exchange for passage? Oh, um. Well, I'm not really very good with people, so you can take Whatever charisma I have. You're really, you're really good with people. You're so good. You're, you're great. I mean, also to be Should fair, not. my charisma is in the negative, so giving it away is actually probably a benefit. Oh, what if so that works? take it. That's gonna, that's that's helpful. Yeah, thank you. Who of you approaches the door? I. I uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the plane of Glen Aria. All right. Oh, no, I love yeah, 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 you. Yeah, That's what I meant. That's what you After does. you. Zena, as you approach, you hear the same voice speak in your mind. What do you offer Playana in exchange for passage? I mean, again, I'm, I'm really bad with people, so losing my charisma will be a great sacrifice. <laughs> as you speak these words, the golden panel depicting charisma darkens to bronze and the door opens before you. I will walk through it. Zena well, now soon. takes Wait. negative five to her charisma modifier. Ooh. Oh. Modifier? Yeah. Wow. Oh. Okay. She's very unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> As you pass through the door, you feel yourself grow instantly irritated with your companions it's as if you woke up on the wrong side of the bed every morning for a year. Oh. You're grouchy and irritable, and it's difficult to be around you. So here's, oh. here's my thought. Like, I was gonna go with Chris. Will you be quiet, please? You're on the other side of the door! La I but can still but hear I'm you. I'm glad you're alive! It's like, you're, it's like you're shouting. The I door was... gently closes behind you. <laughs> that was my bad. That's He's gonna not. be a... That's going to be that's a gonna be fun, fun challenge. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, well, okay. so I was going to say that that's also my lowest, but I know that Arya is very crafty, and it does not seem that it would benefit us. Th there's two ways to look at this, right? For us to all mm -hmm. use the same and all stink at the same thing, but be really good at everything else. The or panel depicting charisma is still bronzed and no longer shines gold. Oh, oh we no. can take there that one now. Okay. There it is. Um, okay, so. Whew. This is the penny. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Penny so I shouldn't have heard her go first. Cause like we may have questions that she would only know. Cause like I don't know. All right, that. Well. All right. Well then okay. I'll say my so next lowest one is intelligence. Is that does that benefit both of you? I, 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 I think yeah. yeah. Okay. I so I'll that. sacrifice I'll intelligence. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I'll take wisdom. <laughs> all is right. that all right? I can do strength if you guys count me. I got you there. Okay. All right. <laughs> wisdom. Yeah. 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 Who approaches the door? <laughs> so I will ding, go next. Ding, ding. You hear the voice speak in your mind. What will you sacrifice? Ooh, to play intelligence. On <laughs> The panel depicting intelligence darkens and turns to bronze. As your mind races to describe the sensation you're feeling, you're at a total loss for words and you hear a dull groan escape your lips. Ah. Your mind has slowed almost to a grinding halt and it takes you much longer, much longer to process information than it normally would. Also, reading has become quite difficult. 
<laughs> negative five to her intelligence modifier. Ooh. Ooh. Not a total of negative five, but negative five from where it currently stands. That's a total of negative five. Oh. She's got a zero. <laughs> Point of clarification. Okay. okay. So I get the feeling I'm not good at reading anymore, so you'll be able to like. I can I can read for you. Yeah, oh, thank I can you. Do that. <laughs> thank you. You pass through the door yeah. and it Bye. closes behind you. Bye. Oh no. Okay, so. I'm gonna go up you to the door. This? Yeah, okay. yeah, I got this. Okay. I'm gonna go for wisdom. Three smarts have never been my thing. Can you stop That's breathing fine. so loudly? Sorry. <sighs> okay. You so approach the door yeah. and it asks you the same question. I will sacrifice my wisdom. A strange sensation overtakes you. It becomes increasingly difficult to focus and the world around you seems strange and unfamiliar. Or before you might have felt confident in your decision making, you now feel wholly unsure of yourself and okay. generally confused. Negative five to her wisdom modifier. Okay. The panel darkens and you pass through and the door closes. Everything's gonna be fine. I shouldn't be on the side by myself. Oh, hello. Because I am gonna run away. You both um, read so loud. I guess I'll just walk up to the door and uh, stand there and hi. What will you offer in exchange? Uh, well, I guess I didn't hit the gym that much, so uh, I'm gonna give up strength. You feel the muscles all over your body begin to weaken and atrophy. For a moment, mm. you can hardly stand, sapped of a significant portion of your strength and energy. Negative five to his strength modifier. He doesn't look that much different, actually. How does he even walk? Magic. Oh, are you doing okay? The <laughs> nurseryman awaits you on the other side of the gate. Barkeep, open the channel. I am opening Are you a challenge. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. I don't know how you want to handle this, Galivor. Technically, the wizard just lowered his strength modifier to a minus six, which means his strength score is less than zero. Technically, he wouldn't be allowed to move. <laughs> Shut up, Crowley. <Krella. laughs> hey, his total score cannot descend below one. Huzzah! <laughs> the day is his! <laughs> Thank you, you Summoners. Found, you found a loophole, Venita. <laughs> ah, ah, my favorite! <laughs> All right. Shh! <sighs> Guys. This was a mistake? I don't like the way this room looks. This is After going entering the door, I don't like this place. you have descended into the bowels of the under. Mm. I like the garden men. place a lot better. Gestures around and says, Welcome to the Ring of the Wayward, the forever resting place of the followers of Arya that acted in wickedness and darkness. Idiots. The area is cavernous. The air is warm and stale, and you can hear moans, groans, and cries of pain. Oh. oh. So, Nock, you never told me you had a dark side. I thought <laughs> Arya was going to be like temples and things. Uh, me too, honestly. But uh, this makes sense, honestly. I've, I've read about these places. Then you didn't... Yeah. You so never I, asked. So, you're right. So this my is bad. like, this is like a jail. Yeah. Like, uh, uh, what, what is this? What is this place? Have you like read about this or like learned yeah, about yeah, this at all? Yeah, yeah. You're from Aria. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> the nurseman rests a hand on her shoulder. It is difficult to pass through the gate. Can you not touch me, please? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm afraid that to pass through this ring to the next, we will need to seek the permission of one known as the Warden. Ugh, we have to talk to All people. Right. Uh, take us to the Warden. Yeah, let's go. Let's, yeah. uh, he come. leads you down a winding path through this hot, stale cave oh. while most unpleasant scenes play out around you of okay. suffering and pain. Until finally you arrive at a large marble desk. Behind it, is a semicircle of statues, and in the very center is a large statue of Playana. Standing behind this desk is a very large figure, as large as the nurseryman, who stands about eight feet. Whoa. He is clad in radiant, gaudy, de decorative armor, but his face is concealed under his helmet. Two enormous white wings stretch out of his back. Hello. Hi. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um, we are looking to out your hair and move on through to the it's a nice place. worst it's a next nice ring. Place. Yeah. It's lovely here. Good decoration. <laughs> you have no business here. You are all alive. 
Well, yeah, we have yeah, on the we other have, side. We, is, are we have alive. business on the other side. Is where yeah, we go. I, I take that as a compliment. So, so yeah, we just want to get out of your hair. If we could just ride on past through, we'll just not be a bother to you anymore. Yeah. This is highly against the order of things. I do not think you are allowed to pass. Please? <laughs> the nurseryman steps forward and says, they seek an audience with Arya, and this is the only path to the mountain. The warden just glares and doesn't respond to the nurseryman. The I'm nurseryman not- steps forward and begins to whisper to the warden, and you can hear him pleading on your behalf. Oh. I never thought I'd say this, but I think Ari is a cult. I mean, a cult is just a new religion, and we've been around for a really long so time. So I'm right. So I have to disagree. We've okay. Um, me so also. Well, okay. so should, we say, should we say? I feel like we talking might not. Please? The What's nurseryman the places a hand on the shoulder of the warden and says, "Perhaps we could seek the thoughts of a higher authority." And the warden, shh. Uh, fine. And they walk off a short distance and continue to speak. As the four of you stand by this desk, you can see, supporting the marble top, are four figures trembling beneath its weight. Oh. Okay. That gives me the bad feeling. That's Hi guys. Not good. Suddenly you hear, hey, psst, hey, over here. Oh. Hi. Oh. From behind what? you, off to the side, you can see, Two souls bearing a heavy weight that they are both holding by a loop, beneath which rests an egg. Hey, we know the way through. <sighs> oh, you know do the way you? through to where? Where Where exactly do you know the way through to? You said you're going to the next ring. Yeah. yeah. We know yeah, the yeah. way to the next ring. Cool. Duh. Okay. Okay, can I can I see like if they're lying or not? Can I do like a little check? Oh, <laughs> I am bad at that now. Can I do that? I, I also would like to perceive if they are being honest. Roll perception for me. Okay. Do you do you me? Yeah, I think I, these guys are great. We should totally do it. <laughs> I don't. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember where we are and try and figure out what's going on here. Can we make a decision, please? That is an eleven. Modifier. Perception? Plus five. Sixteen. They seem earnest, if not desperate. Oh, okay. Um, All I'm going to say is they're here for a reason. If yeah. we're hoping to get through it, rather not rock the boat. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the catch? Like, what do we have to, what do you do want? If you could just hold this. Mm. Even for a little while. <laughs> I might I not be smart, see, but that doesn't look like a good plan at all. I can't yeah. think of anything right now, so <laughs> it's probably a bad idea. I'm you so guys sorry. What are, what are your names? Devin. Davin. Devin oh, wow, and that's Davin? Easy. Yeah. Which that's which? good. Real original. So, so Devin and Davin, what, I, I know you're in pain right now, but what is that uh, egg thing you're carrying? It's our burden. It's our torture. Whoa. So I don't want that. I don't so like, why, why should we help if you? If it's your burden and we take it, then it's our burden, right? <laughs> Only until the warden would come back. So the warden No tricks! We just want a moment of relief. You're gonna both, aren't you? Duh. We couldn't if we wanted to. Oh. I'm not touching it, guys. I'm not getting near you. I can't lift anything I, right now. I'm not doing anything for anyone ever. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of agree with you for some reason. Please. I mean, I'd please. Just for a few minutes. We'll I swear mean... on anything you like. We have nothing more to lose. Ooh. Then what do you have to swear on? Yeah. They're not really helping yourselves They're out really here. They're really good guys, guys though. Maybe we, we should just left. do it. If you're in, I'm in. So not in. So out. Yeah. So not in. Okay. <laughs> guys, okay. such a bad there's idea. A, there's a half and half thing happening. I think it's we've a established a new Summoners. party system here. Please bring forth. We have two who have agreed. Oh. Great. We're letting the people I without so wisdom and intelligence make the decisions. <laughs> Don't make me sit next to Goranak. I'll sit next to Goranak. Oh. Champion. Scoot your little kabootra on vision. over here. At least okay. two of you, Thank you will need to bear the burden of these poor damned souls. Uh, here oh. you see the egg, and here you see down? their weight. Oh. These two souls say, as they hand the burden to you, 
Come get All it. Right. It's your burden. The you way took through it. to the next ring. Yeah. The base of the statue of Playana. There's a you're phrase that you utter, and it opens like a gate, and you can pass through. The sta- I'm so sorry. Say it again. The statue does the, the base of the statue. There's a passphrase that you say, and a, a door opens. Okay, what is it? What's the passphrase? We don't know the passphrase. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not helpful. I am not putting my second hand on here until what you What we do know <laughs> is that this pile of stones, if arranged properly, will reveal the passphrase. The two champions who are not holding the weight <laughs> will have so the opportunity have to take these pieces and attempt to and solve the puzzle. Above the oh, I like puzzles. Oh. I can do oh, this. I Our champions will have two minutes in which to attempt to solve the puzzle, during which time, if the egg is broken, you will receive the same punishment the tortured souls would receive, which is three fire damage for all of you. We got this. We got this. Uh, Move fast, please. You guys got this. Begin the timer. Go, 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 go. go. This is fine. My champion should be amazing at this. You know how many days he spent building puzzles in this house? That's How many days? Your eyes are really pretty. Too many to count. I mean, he's got no friends. Okay, but he's good at puzzles. Can you watch and see if you can see it? I can't see it. I mean, he's got a great intelligence score. You're doing great! Oh, I'm saying Champions, good things about Benedict. At any point, All I know you that may exchange at positions. Than I am. This is happening. Uh, you can swap. Come over here. They may swap. <laughs> Are you sure? At I any am point. I'm so sure. At any point, champions may exchange positions. A minute and 30 seconds. Share the burden. Oh, I don't yeah. mind sharing the burden at this point. Zena, are you feeling like you've got there or do you want to switch Can places? Can you stop talking? Oh. 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 Okay. Zena's okay. having a bad day. I think oh, that's a nice. That's going to get old so real bad. What's wrong with you? I'm pretty amicable, but uh, nope. Bucky, can I get a drink? I think I'm going to hold my hand. This is going super well. Yeah. Start with the big ones. Spit in the small ones. One yes. minute. Okay. G- Gornak, what were you saying about you being that good big, at this? The okay, I admit it's, it's a bit different of a puzzle. <clears throat> you want to switch? I'm what good. What if that doesn't okay. go there? Do you need a break? No. What if this goes somewhere else? Like that? You guys got this. Are you sure? Oh, uh, are you sure? I'm super sure. Why not? Okay, just, oh, you can't switch me. I mean, I could, maybe. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. <laughs> what do you got over there? I think you, you need to go in. I, I nope, do nope, it. Nope. If do someone it. wants to swap out, I'm good to help. I'm oh, sorry. Are you? Remy, yeah, get, get, get a fresh pair of eyes. Well, come on, come on, Remy. 15 seconds. You 15 seconds. Go, you got this. I'm a lot stronger than I thought it would be. You're so strong. 10, 9, 8, eight 7, seven Descend and crush the egg. This moves okay. Oh no. Oh, it's Three radiant damage to each of our champions. Oh. oh dear. And the fire damage. It is at this point that one of the angels who works as a guard in this ring sees you and grows ponderous and says. You are living souls. Duh. And you seek to ease the burden of those who are tortured. That is most noble. You seek to solve this. We do, yeah. Hmm. I have something that may help you, but I'm afraid that there's always a price in this ring. What do you got? What do you want? You want a hug? I give good hugs. It, it is a blood cost. Oh. Don't know about blood hugs. But that's supposed to be <laughs> in me. How and much blood? How much? A little bit need to come out. How much? If you are willing to sacrifice three more hit points each, you will receive a key. Just more in and fact, more like a cult. This key. Oh. Oh, whoa. Oh, that's what. Three each. And what will... I was okay. busy holding a very heavy weight over a very yeah. small egg. Yeah. We've already got fire damage. What will solving this do for us? Give us the path this code. Point? Oh, the path code. Path okay. code to the statue. Not smart. Wasn't sure what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Forget. 
Heavy. Um, probably at this point. I say yes. Yeah, I mean. Wait, wait, wait. Is the warden coming back in the room? Because we could just wait for him. I don't think we want to wait for him. <laughs> yeah, I think we want to. That's also a good point. Yeah. Yeah. That'll. I mean, I'll give so you three hit I mean, points. I'll take it, yeah. Well, hey. Ugh, fine. We're saving the world. Okay. Our Bye. champions have accepted. Ow. They each take three points of damage. Oh. You right. now have this. Yeah. Do I take that from Good there? trade. Good trade. I'm sure the orientation stays thusly. Do we still need the egg? Or Two minutes dead? on a clock. Yeah. Yes. What's your... A oh, new okay. egg. Please begin the timer. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Make sure it's lined up yes. the right direction. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. Not an even hexagon. Just breeze. Oh, thank for the cherry pie. Harder than they would. But quietly, oh, please. Hexagon grade. Nope. I think it might be that hexagon. Mm. The, that Is there guy. a different hexagon? Go there. Okay. That guy. This guy. Nope. This guy. That's not These a hexagon. Are empty. Nope. The uh, ones that gave up their smarts one. are really doing a great job on this. Do you think they're going to be like that the whole time? Yes. Because I like oh, Zena right a lot me. less. It is really like we all do. Marie, I feel the thing that surprises me the most is how disappointed you are with the conditions in hell. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's... Listen. That's a burn, Strength usually works. It's not that I'm disappointed. It's that I'm annoyed on their behalf. And also, Arya's supposed to be like the nice clan. And they're sort of the meanest one yet, I think. <laughs> one minute. Oh, come on, come on, you got there it! Go. Oh, there we go. Mm. Where's, Let's where missing? Oh, go. oh, there we go. Oh. Ah, this is scary! <laughs> you moved it, why did you move it? It wasn't a fitting? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we got this! <laughs> I'll let you do this. What? You Theoretically, the pieces should all be fitting. Like you guys have a key. What are you doing? Thirty seconds. seconds. <laughs> Pound it in there, or something. Jump on it. Right. Oh, oh I thought you me. said. Oh, uh, never mind. Oh. Yes. yes. You were successful. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not an even hexagon. Oh. That's not a hexagon. <laughs> <laughs> the infernal creator of this puzzle rules. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do don't, any, no. I will touch any of our guardians on. recognize this? It's a hex. A gun. <sighs> Summoners, do you recognize this? It's a thing that was on the table all season. <laughs> you mean this has resided on the summoner's table up to this point? It has. Mm. And it has been viewed by every guardian who's been interviewed? It has. <laughs> no, oh. that's I assuming that we pay any attention during those interviews. Up your and passive the perception, whole time. guardian. It's huh. not really a I don't point of anything other than. I don't have perceptions. Why did I? Why did you guys did wonderful. You guys did great. my own chair. I'll move you my chair closer to corner and I have to move it myself. You did That's so supposed to be good. your job, Carlo. High five. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 You're improving. Champions, as the puzzle completes itself, you can see a script appear written across Ooh. in celestial. That's the opposite of my language. Well, we know she can't read it. I'm sorry. Uh, no, it's, it's fair. Oh, no. No? No. You can't read it? No. Uh, Devon? D Devon? De Davin? De they Derek? are laying on the rocks nearby. Hey, guys. Hey! 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 Huh? Devon! Hey. So, oh, sorry. Sorry, man. What's it say? Oh, I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> what about the guy? Hey, a prison man? Guard? Dude? Um, Clan Aria, I believe you do speak Celestial. Yeah, I do. Whoa! Yeah! 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 That's great. No, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. You're such an asset. You're, we value you. 
very deliberate word choice. Mm. <laughs> Plant Aria, you can read written and celestial. I'm going to remember that. I meant every word, mm -hmm. every syllable. Every syllable, <laughs> every letter. Mm -hmm. You're so good at reading. Written across, the world is full of tears. Oh. oh. Just dark and dark. What does it say? OK, someone remember it that. It says, the world is full of tears. At the base oh. of the statue of Playana, you can what see an says? opening recess and then move aside. Oh, creating a stairway. Ooh. We should probably go down that yeah, stairs. Should we wait for ah. the one guy? Cause like I mean, he hasn't he was really gonna, like, done. Lead us through. Oh. He hasn't really but, like, done anything for us at this point. So. But he's gonna like lead I mean, us through. Us here. The eight-foot hooded form of the nurseryman appears behind you. Hey! <laughs> I think I've bought us some time, but we need to move quickly. Okay. All right, let's go. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, you go first. <laughs> All right. You can stand behind me. Okay. Mm -hmm. You descend the passage, uh. and the nurseryman informs you that we will be arriving at what is known as the River of the Damned. Oh, mm. so not the second ring yet. We must cross the river to access the second ring. It is the border. Oh, oh okay. Cool. okay. Yeah, okay. we can do that. Do we have to swim? I did not bring my trunks. <laughs> we will need to enlist the help of the boatmen. Swimming oh. would be perilous. That makes okay. sense. Agreed. Yeah. yeah I'm As go you emerge from the passage, water. you can see this river in an underground cave with swirling forms and a thin, thin silvery mist across the top. Mm. But as you approach, you can see the large armored form Whoa. of the warden. Oh. Sinister. Oh, that's oh. not great. Oh, hey! hey. hey. You have betrayed us, nurseryman. No. No. Wait. No. 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 He didn't betray. No, that was. Don't. Run. <laughs> It was, it was Rectifying ones, and he raises his hand, and smaller angels appear, and they begin to cast chains around the nurserymen. No! At which point, two are wrapped around his neck and one around each arm. Hey, it was, the angels it was... holding the chains turn to stone and sink into the ground. Whoa! As the chains begin to glow definitely, white hot, definitely, definitely. and the nurseryman cries out in pain. We oh. will be entering initiative order. Guardians, you will have 15 oh. seconds to counsel your champions, beginning with Clan Talon. Leila, this is all like really upsetting, but honestly, I'm. I, can you stop hugging the Venator champion? Oh, what? Why? It's just like. <laughs> oh. Clan Aria. It's really a lot of advice. Uh, I know you're going through some stuff right now. Um, <laughs> But it's I need, not a phase. I, need you to rem I, I know. I need you to remember why we're here. <sighs> Clan Benita. Hey, uh, so uh, you're looking uh, a little bit worse for wear, yeah? Yeah. Maybe uh, toughen yourself up a little bit. Toughen myself up? Yeah. Okay. May I drama. will, uh, yeah. May drama. Oh, I thought you push ups, but okay. Don't. <laughs> Clan <laughs> Krieg. So. I know making decisions is hard right it's now. It's so hard. But just listen to me and you'll be fine. I care about you, so I want you to stay in the back and I want you to just cast spells, okay? Stay away from danger. Well, that was awfully tender of you, Haldor. <laughs> Never Thank you. Mom I before. try sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Layla, yeah. you will be the first act followed by Zena. I'm sorry. Oh. All right, Zena, okay. who do you want? And I'll take the other. Hmm. Well. I can help from back behind you. I can't. <laughs> yes, you can. You're great, and you're a champion, and you can do it. And you look purple's running out of your color, but you can do this. Oh, yes. okay. anyway. we got this. Oh dear. I'll take the one on the left, I guess. All right, I'll take the one on the right. You two take the one in the middle. Good luck. What? The biggest <laughs> one over Wait, what? here. <laughs> what do you mean that? And I swing away with my right hand rapier. Make yeah. an attack roll. Have you ever heard of teamwork? That's an eight. <laughs> Plus seven. Plus seven for a total of 15. That will just connect Ooh. damage. Uh, eight. Eight damage to this rectifying one. And now I can smell his celestial blood and I want more, Ooh. so I'm going to swing with my right hand short sword. That's really unsettling. <laughs> for another eight. Plus six. Which we established would just connect, so, oh wait, eight plus six? 
The short sword has different stats. Ah, which would put it at a total of 14, 14 which will not connect, I'm afraid. That's okay. I never like my short sword much, so I'm going to swing with my rapier again. Four and 11. Uh, plus seven. That will definitely connect. Damage. Nine. Eight, and he's already taken damage, so another four, so twelve. Twelve damage Woo! to this rectifying one. Thanks, Layla, you're doing really good! Zena. Well, these are the worst angels ever. So I'm going to run up to this one, and I'm going to attack it. Roll for a morose attack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just going to roundhouse kick him in the face. That's a twelve. Plus seven. That will definitely connect. Damage. Ooh. Seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning from the roundhouse kick. I'm going to attack him again, I guess. <coughs> That's another roundhouse kick to the face with my other foot. That's a 13. Plus seven. That will connect. Another seven yeah. damage. Correct. Nice. All right. And then I'm going to reach my hand. I'm going to attack him again. And I'm going to reach my hands behind his neck. Kind of like I'm, I'm going to bring him in for a kiss. Yeah. But that hasn't really been working out so far, so I'm just going to headbutt oh. him in the face. <laughs> oh. Attack roll. That's that an eight. Plus seven. For a total of 15, which will just connect. Seven damage? Yeah. That's correct. Blow after blow, connecting with this rectifying one. You're denting his armor. All I have right. an effect on people. It is now the warden's turn to act. Oh. Mm. He really moves building the suspense. Over to Layla. Wait. He's going to attack with his mace. That is a natural one. Oh. Oh. Temporarily blinded by the brilliance of your red hair, his swing goes yeah! wide. Let's hope that keeps working for me. <laughs> it's working for me. He rolls his second mace attack. <laughs> He's cute. I know. No. That time the roll is a 19. No. Uh, which I believe is going yeah, to Yeah, that'll hit. <laughs> this does... Seven bludgeoning damage and four radiant damage uh, to Layla. Oh. Ouch. Ow. Summoners are on that? Yes, they are. All right. Been an initiative. Oh. All right. That's it for the warden, Eamon. Okay. So um, I am going to cast Mage Armor on myself. Ooh. Uh, and then I am going to run um, as far as I can toward the uh, nurserymen, which I believe I can get about, I think I can get to him. He is screaming and begging you to break his chains. Okay, uh, then I am going to go toward one of the chains and I'm going to do an acid splash on it. All right, which is normally a dexterity saving throw. Yes. But chains don't really dodge. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> which I believe is six damage? Yes, and it, anything within five feet is also hit. So I'll do it like at the end of the chain. I believe you could do this six damage to two of the chains, as you can see acid beginning to eat through, but they're still holding. Okay. Yeah. Do All that. Right. Anything else on your turn? No, that's it. All right. Keep, Moving down, keep it is time that. for the rectifying ones to take their opportunity. Hey, Barbara, the channel, just real quick. quick. Uh, turn General, we have had an animated and exciting discussion back here. We are darn near positive the ranger hit with her short sword. Yeah. We can't figure out why she has two different modifiers. They should both be seven. We saw it from here. It looked like it hit. It, yeah, we saw the short sword <laughs> connect. <laughs> can't argue with the first cool. eyewitness account very well. <laughs> so we got your back, Talum. And that modifier like should always be seven. Yeah, we fixed it. That's the first time I've ever done it. Like, helps the champions, <laughs> I think. It really helps that argument that they're impartial, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's put in the damage it's for that. Another, it's another eight damage. That's another eight damage to the warden. Seven. I oh, thought we said you seven. didn't figure out what the difference. And it was for the rectifying one. There you go. Let's go Thank you very much. Good job. Good job. Let's go in the past. <laughs> Which... Should have had Colossus Slayer as well. No, nope, once per round. So. Oh, once per round. Just Thank another you, seven damage. Guardian of Talent. All right. 
We were doing a thing. We're going to get back to it. It's the <laughs> rectifying one's turn to act. The one that is standing next to Talon is going to take a swing at Talon, at Layla. He also rolls a natural yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Fiona is on our side. Yeah. Think about it. Guardians of the things. <laughs> he makes his second attack. What are we oh, thinking about? Guess I shouldn't be running my mouth. As my dad always said, don't run your mouth. That is a 17 to hit. Ooh. That'll hit. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh. All right, that will do seven slashing damage. <laughs> All right, and then the other rectifying one is going to take its attacks at Aria. It rolls a nine for a total of 14. That will miss. The swing goes wide. He takes his second attack, rolling a 19. That will hit. Seven slashing damage. You guys are like the literal worst. (laughs) His helmeted visage stares back at you, still holding his sword. Moving on in initiative order, Moose. Yay, okay, I'm, yes, Guardian, I will do what you say, and I will sneak over here, take a little cover behind the rock, and shoot him with Eldritch Blast. All but, right. yeah, I'm gonna shoot him. <laughs> Make your ranged spell attack, please. 12 Modify. plus seven. That will connect, damage. Yes. Nine. Nine damage to the warden? Yes, to the warden. All right. And feeling really good that the first one hit, I'm going to attack him again with the second blast. Fire and stuff erupt from my finger gun with a 13. Modifier. Plus seven. That will connect another nine damage? Yes. But I don't make that sound, and I hide behind the rock. (laughs) (laughs) You blast and blast as the arcane energy impacts on the warden, doing substantial damage. Moving down initiative, it is the nurseryman's opportunity to act. He is crying out in pain and he says, You can't beat him! You have to break the chains! I can get us out! And he's going to attempt to burst his bonds. 15. Yay? He's unable to break any of his chains, being bound four different directions at this moment. That takes us back to the top of initiative order. Guardians, you'll have 15 seconds to counsel your champions, beginning with Clan Talon. I know he said that uh, you gotta break the chains and not fight with people. I guess you could disengage as part of the term, but like, they're still gonna keep attacking you, so. Yeah, it, it was what it is. Clan Aria. Zena, I'm disappointed. When I swing at you like that, you always just jump out of the way. I know you can get away from this thing, and I know you can do some damage to those chains. Okay. <laughs> Clan Venita. Hey, uh, hi. Are you noticing that she's giving you the eyes? <sighs> what? Layla. But, yeah. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you will. Karnak, I'm Clan gonna kill Krieg. you. Great job. Yeah. Maybe, maybe go back even further. Further than this. Yes. Further and, than this. And and Eldritch blast the chains. Oh, yeah, I could yeah, do that. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Cool. Thanks, love you, bye. <laughs> Layla. <laughs> oh, at the top of the round, the warden will use his lair action no. oh. to attempt to summon more reckoning ones. Oh, that's not good. This guy is the worst. Yeah. I actually agree with you. Yeah. Rolling a four, <laughs> he summons one additional reckoning oh. one. Oh, cool. Well, cool. That's All fun. right, Layla. So I want to keep these people distracted so that my friends can work on the chains. It's going to hurt, but I'm just going to keep swinging away. Oh. All right, who are you attacking? Yeah. We're going to we're gonna divvy it up a bit. So we're going to do right hand warden, left hand not warden, and right hand warden. All right, roll the first Cube warden Cube. hand. All right. That is a nine. Plus seven. Nine plus seven for a total of 16. Will just connect. Damage. Oh, right. Yeah. LB8, has a warden taken damage yet? 
He has indeed. Okay, then that will be 12. 12 damage to the warden. All right, left hand at the other bloke. For a 10. Plus seven. That will connect. And that will be yeah. seven damage. Seven damage. And then right hand at the warden again. For a 13. A plus seven. That will connect damage. Uh, yeah. That will be another eight damage to the warden. Eight damage to the warden. You swing side to side and back, cutting through your foes. Zena. Well, sort of shaking my fists at this dented armored thing in front of me, I'm going to sidestep around it to here. And then I'm going to turn my back on it and I'm going to punch this chain. All right, make an attack roll. Make my fist really, really sharp and That is a four. Modifier. Plus seven. It will connect. Damage. Seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning. Yeah. Okay, on the chains that worked, so I'll attack the chain again. You snap one of those chains. With that <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And the other chains aren't looking great, right? Two of them have taken substantial acid damage. One remains untouched. And then the one was destroyed. And the one was destroyed. Well, then I'm going to pull out my handy dandy little blowgun. And I'm going to blow a dart at this other chain that's not within my reach of my fists or my feet. One of the ones that has taken acid damage. All right. Yes. Make your ranged attack roll. That's a two. Modifier. <laughs> Plus seven. Ah. I'm afraid that will not connect. Ugh. Oh. It's a small target. I understand. Anything else on your action? Well, I'd really like to just kick this dude in the face. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I do that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Roll to kick him. Okay, well, I'm just going to reach out with my foot behind me and That's kick cool. at his face. That's an eight. Plus seven. Which will just connect for seven damage. Nice. Brilliant. He's beginning to look quite rough. His helmet is very dented. <laughs> Good job. All right. It's now the warden's turn to act. Don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it like this either. Seeing you beginning to break the chains holding the nurseryman, he's going to move over and towards Zena. Opportunity attack. Yeah. Yes! Please make your attack. And I do it with my rapier because it's a little more efficient. And that is a 10. Plus seven. Which will connect damage. Yeah! For eight damage. Uh, does she get Colossus Slay? It's not technically a turn. She has already used it this round. Mm. So it is spent. Eight damage from that attack of opportunity. And he's going to make attacks at Clan Arya. You smell really bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Through his helmet to the truth. face. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> He rolls an 18 to hit. That will hit. Which is seven bludgeoning damage and four radiant damage. Oh! <coughs> Ow! He then turns to the nurseryman. Oh. Quiet, you! No. Mm. Rolling a 25 to hit. Oh! <laughs> Dealing four bludgeoning and seven bludgeoning and four radiant to the nurseryman. Does no. he hit the chains on accident? <laughs> not rolling over a 20, he does not. Oh, cool, right. cool, cool. Worth a shot. Good check. Yeah, thank you. It was a good effort. All right, Eamon. Oh. Yeah, so this acid seems to be working, so I'm gonna do it again, right at the chains. All right, which we already determined they don't dodge and can't make deck saves. <laughs> Two of these chains dissolve. Yay! Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Excellent. <laughs> And uh, I'm going to run away. <laughs> Barkeep, open the channel. The channel is open. Hey, uh, I got to tell you, that yeah. was wonderful. 
Now, if you really want to make Layla happy, oh. you might want to go over to her and whisp whisper sweet nothings in her ear, saying, protection from evil and good. Oh, I like it. I'll do it. Okay. I'm torn because you're helping my champion, but also I don't like the encouragement of this. Just let in the love. Let it in. Speaking of love, did you hear that, um, do... Uh, okay. Uh, it's I, the rectifying one's opportunity to okay. attack. And so the one engaged with Layla will attack her. Rolling a six. Eleven total damage. Or excuse me, eleven to hit. <laughs> I'll take that as a no. That is not yeah. that. <laughs> Second attack. What? That is a 13 to hit. Also doesn't hit. All right. Yeah. That's a thing now. She's a dexterous gal. <laughs> the rectifying one who sees Eamon melting chains bolts over to you. Oh. Ah. That's going to be an attack of opportunity. Make your attack roll. Ooh. Uh, hey, yeah, no, no, <laughs> you're mine. And I'm gonna roundhouse kick him in the face. That's a four. <laughs> Modifier. Plus seven. I'm afraid that will not. Ah, uh, good try though. He's going to make attack rolls against Eamon. Okay. That is a 23 to hit. Oh! Ow? Doing seven slashing damage. Okay. That's oh. a lot. Okay. His second attack roll. Oh boy. Is a 23 to hit. <laughs> <laughs> For another Yikes. seven slashing damage. Oh! oh. Ay, 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 ay. The third and final rectifying ah. one uses its action to answer the call of the warden. It will not attack this round. Moving down in initiative, Moose. Woo! Okay. So how many how many more chains we got there? Just one. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna shoot Eldritch Blast because it has a range of 160, and I'm gonna aim right for that chain. Make your range attack. I will. <laughs> Fifteen. Modifier. Plus seven. It will absolutely connect. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nine. This chain bursts in arcane energy. I got to say, that stream. was cool. Nice <laughs> Anything else on your turn? You're free! Mm -hmm. uh, and then I'm going to take my second Eldritch Blast yeah. and hit the one that's attacking my Talon friend. I got you. Mm. All right, make your ranged yeah. attack roll, please. Okay. 12. Plus seven. It will connect. Damage. I'm gonna go. Nine. <laughs> oh yeah, please duck. <laughs> Nine, you said? Nine. Nine damage. Got to blow up. He crumples and sizzles with arcane energy. Oh. Falls to the ground. Hey. Hey. Well done. Hey. And that means I feel stronger. <laughs> Oh! Because I gain nine temporary hit points every time I make the kill shot. All right. Mm -hmm. It is the nurseryman's opportunity to act, at which point he opens his bag containing all of the homunculi that he used to save you in the garden. <gasps> this time they glow fiery red and swarm the warden and each rectifying <gasps> one standing. They fall under this onslaught as the nurseryman says, we need to go right now! Downriver to the boat we need to cross so he can't follow us! Okay. Yes, Don't sir! Only twice. Layla, and you, okay? you flee, oh, yeah, good, cool. leaving behind the suffering form of the warden. It's a Galibor, distracting. Galibor, I'm sorry. They, they are smoking, sizzling. We need to bring them home. <laughs> Thank you, Pashi. Please bring back our champions. I am closing the portals. Wait. You guys are looking pretty dead for how long you've been over there. Yes. I know! Yeah. yeah, it's almost like Ariel is supposed to be like the healer <laughs> clan and like the friendly clan and like the nice clan, and it's definitely a cult. <laughs> and so... Hey, Blame my parents. Hey, and so we have some controversy. 
what is going on with the Light and Bright Clan Audio. So, citizens, it is now time to vote on the Medal of Throsia, the medal that I get to award. Voting happens on HiveChannel5.com by 3 p.m. Throsian time. So where do we go to vote? HiveChannel5.com Are you sure? Yes. yes. Prove it to me. HiveChannel5.com Okay, that seems very certain. And what time do we have? 3 p.m. 3 p.m. 3 3 3 3 Thank you. <laughs> so now it is time for us to bid farewell to Gallivo. Your room is prepared, my friend. There are victuals of plenty. And now, guardians, we bid farewell to you for the evening. Food and drink will also be in your room. And now, the champions. You may arise, your oh, rooms snap. are Yay. prepared. Oh, thank you. Please, a round of applause. Did you really not the And to you, the citizens of Croatia, <laughs> if you feel so moved. Okay. Next time, join us, please. Bring oh, your faith, incredible. bring it's your brutal. magic, and most importantly, bring your presence, as once again, we enter the hex. <laughs> <laughs>